My name is Anne-Marie Kerwin. I am an emerging visual artist studying an MFA in NCAD. I'm going to talk about the thought process that goes into my research. The title of this body of work, Tipping Point, I Can't Breathe. I'm grateful to the National Sculpture Factory for giving me this opportunity and experience to share my process of turning the familiar into the ordinary, even the most humblest of objects, a tea bag used for a specific purpose, yet mostly only used once and thrown away. Thinking about what else they could be used for, we think of tea as comfort, warmth and support, but looking for a story which is often hidden and disguised and only emerges when combined with other materials or objects. Using gelatine, rabbit skin glue to combine the materials, ideas and techniques to invent new forms of visual expression and communication, an interplay between title, material and image. My hometown, the top right hand picture is an old photograph. It's an image of my granddad, his brothers, my dad. My dad was 14 when he went down into the coal mines in Castlecomer. The other images are of my feet and of coal dust. An image of an old cottage, the close up of the door, the texture around the handle, the cracks. An image of a window and the walls were made of mud and clay and combined. Castlecomer Discovery Park, an image of a tree, a tree within a tree. Growth, dying and rebirth. Influenced by Bill Viola, the elements. Fire, water, air. Relating to sensation of the senses. John Wood and Paul Harrison. I was lucky enough to visit Bristol, the Bristol City Museum of Art, and to watch this video, immersed in water. Edison's last breath in a test tube, air is a commodity. What would we pay for fresh air? It was a gift to Henry Ford. More research looking at Stephanie Smith and Edward Stewart, Mouth to Mouth, 1995. An image of me in Waterford, Tremor Beach memories of my childhood. I'm foraging, gathering seaweed. The texture is vibrant, the smell and the colour. Drying seaweed in my back garden. Although the smell has began to fade somewhat, the texture and the colour is still there. As it dries, it becomes coarse and brittle. I look at ways to weave and interweave it into chicken wire. It's quite therapeutic, but as it dries, it becomes brittle and easy to break. This led on to a larger sculpture, the seaweed interwoven in the chicken wire and hanging, taking different pictures for the image, the colour, the shape, the texture. Looking at sleep apnea equipment, my husband suffers from the condition sleep apnea. It brings me back to breathing, brings me back to the lungs, more research. Thinking of my dad in the coal mines, coal miners lung. This is a device I commissioned. I had intended making a breathing device, but because of COVID and lockdown, a friend made it for me and sent it via post. The back garden became my studio, the chicken wire. I had to use foam, industrial foam. 
close-up images of the texture and the color. Inserting the breathing device into this sculpture and the chicken wire. The device is battery operated and the motion of it going in and out. The sound using video and voice recording and sound recording to make the eventual video in the back garden, which was the sound of breathing and breath, combined with the movements of the in and out. During lockdown and isolation, I experimented with the bath and breathing underwater, how long I could hold my breath for. Social distancing, using a stocking, that feeling of isolation, not being able to breathe. Experimenting with sleep apnea device in the back garden and video using my husband's apnea device and quotes, which are very important to me. Experimenting with plastic and plastic bags with some clay and a little plant. Taking photographs of the light and the image objects that we would normally throw away, disposable. Image of a seaweed and the sunshine on seaweed. The bottom four images of a snail in the burn. I took 212 photographs and hoped to perhaps make an animated video. This image shows the vibrant green color of seaweed and experimenting with a seaweed necklace the feel and the texture was clammy against my skin. Trying to preserve a moment in time. Thank you for watching.